Hey, what's up guys? Today we're going to create ourselves a third person camera for a player or any kind of objects in the scene. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so we have a camera here that has a main camera tag on top of it. And then we are going to create ourselves a new script. I'm going to call this one a third person camera script. Of course, you can call it whatever you want. And then let's open it up in the editor. Now inside of there, the first thing I'll do is I'll start by wiping pretty much everything so we have a clean script. And then after that, I'll declare myself some uh, fields. The first one is going to be a public transform look at. So this is um, the transform that the camera is going to be looking at. And after that, the public transform cam transform. This is uh, going to be the transform of the camera. And then after that, I'll declare myself a private camera cam. Okay, now we need some um, some fields for later on so we can calculate the distance and uh, pretty much just the position of the camera. So let's go ahead and declare ourselves some floats. So the first one is going to be a private float distance and I'll set it at 10 for now. This is the distance uh, in between the player and the camera. After that we'll declare ourselves a current x is equal to 0 and also a oh, my bad, we got a float. So private float current x and private float current c or y, they're going to be used to calculate the position. And then after that, private float sensitivity x is equal to say something like 4. And private float sensitivity, sensitivity y, which is e going to be equal uh, 1 for now. OK. Now let's go ahead and set those fields in our start. Let's go ahead and create ourselves a private void start. And in here we'll do, uh, we'll start by assigning the transform of the camera. So since the script is going to be on top of our uh, camera object, we're simply going to say cam transform is equal to transform. Now after that we can say cam is equal to camera dot main and this is going to get the, well it says it right there. It is this, uh, going to get the first enable camera tagged as a main camera. So our camera in our um, scene over here is tagged as a main camera so it's going to get this one. So now we have a reference to that. What else do we need? And now we need a reference for a look at object. But since I might switch it around a little bit later on, say during the scene I want to be looking at the player and then in the middle switch to look at an object or something of the sort. So since it might change, what we'll do is we will be assigning it directly here in the uh, inspector. So I want to be looking at my player. So what I'll do is drag and drop my player right on top of the look at field, just like this. And now as for the cam transform, it's going to be assigned um, at the beginning of the script here in the start. Okay, so now what we need to do is actually calculate the position of our uh, camera. So we'll do a private void late update. And the reason we're doing a late update is because say we want to be moving our player, then uh, this is going to happen in the update. After the movement of the player is done, then we can calculate the position of the camera because they're, uh, they're codependent. So if the player moves, the camera should be moving as well. So in the late update, we'll start by declaring ourselves a vector3 direction that is going to be equal to vector3, actually a new vector3. 0, 0, and minus distance. Now with this, we can be doing, actually we're going to declare ourselves a quaternion first. So quaternion rotation is going to equal quaternion dot Euler. Now you do current y first, then current x, then 0. And just below that, we can use all we just calculated to um, move the transform. So cam transform dot position is now equal to the look at position plus rotation times direction. So basically what happens here is that we put the camera on top of the player then we apply the rotation and times the direction. It's, um, it's a little bit difficult to explain like that but basically we just put the camera in the center 
then uh, we got the angle at which the player is looking at, and we threw the camera behind uh, that angle, so uh, minus distance. Okay, so with that in mind now, let's go just see in game if uh, it seems to work. Press play. And as you can see, we are in fact behind the player, so it is working. Now we want to be able to move with the camera, so uh, we're, we need some way to input that. So we'll go ahead and say private void, update. And in here we need to affect the current x and current y value. So what we'll do is say current x is plus equal to say input dot get. Um, I'll do get axis actually. And now we'll go see what we have in the get axis for us. So edit project settings, input, and mouse scroll wheel, so I'll be using this one. Actually, not the mouse scroll wheel, but the mouse x, so I'll be using mouse x. So, current x plus equal get axis mouse x. And then after that, we'll do current y plus equal get axis mouse y. Okay. Let's try this out in-game. Press play. Now as I move my mouse around you can see that I'm orbiting the player if we put the two scenes just like that. I am literally moving around the player if you can see on the right. And that's the movement we want and also up and down just like this. But we also want our camera to be facing the player which it is not right now so what we'll do is we'll go back here in the late update and just below our, um, our position update we'll do a cam transform dot look at and then we send our uh, look at dot position and yeah that's pretty much it okay so now we just fix the rotation issue let's go see again what we have uh, what's the next issue okay so we're moving around I can move my player too oh, okay so this is a bug here um, we can do a full loop around the player and we don't want to be able to be uh, doing that in the game so we'll go ahead and fix that as well. In order to fix this bug we need to clamp our angle. Okay so to clamp our angle what we'll do is we'll declare ourselves to uh, constant so private const float y angle minimum and say so I'll put it at zero for now and then a private const float y angle max and I'll put that at something say like 50 now with these two values, and I put them in caps because they are const, so with these two values we'll go back here in the update and we'll say current y, because we're only affecting the y value, is now equal to uh, matf.clamp and then we'll say current y, y angle minimum, and y angle maximum, just like this. Now I think we should be good to go. So we're clamped over here, we can go above this point. And uh, since I put the, the minimum at zero, I can't go below that point either. So that's pretty much it. If you want to play with the values a bit, so say if you want to have a rotation that goes below that point, so zero, you can go ahead and put, say, minus 50 here. Press play. And now as you can see, I can go below that point. So 50 and minus 50. Alright guys, so this was pretty much it for this tutorial. If this was helpful to you, please leave it a like. Also, if you have any question or comment, please leave them in the comment section below. And subscribe for more of these tutorials. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.